Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hope you're doing great. The topic for today's podcast is journaling. Recently, I attended a function where the speaker spoke about a practice of writing down her experiences in a journal on a daily basis, which subsequently led to her writing a book. I got very excited about this revelation and thought I should share my experiences and some insights about journaling in this podcast, as I see this as being very important to one's growth and development. For those of you who may not be familiar with journaling or journal writing, it is the act of writing down your experiences, thoughts, feelings, goals, or whatever may be affecting you during that time. This fact can be done in a notebook, a notepad, or a journal. Although it is recommended that journaling should be done on a daily or regular basis to reap the full benefit, it can also be done at your convenience. Allow me to share with you how journaling has been helping me in achieving my goals and to successfully move forward in my life. My story goes back to when I began working at around age 19. You would find that many habits and values you have today came from your childhood days and how you were introduced to adulthood. As a child, I liked writing poetry and stories and reading them to my family members. It made me happy, and I was always encouraged to continue with my writing. In the very first month I began working, I had to sit with my parents and write at the top of a sheet of paper my salary and then list below how I was going to spend it. This was an informal introduction to budgeting and goal setting which gave me a great foundation and taught me the importance of planning. Since I enjoyed writing, I eventually moved from writing on sheets of paper to a large scrapbook, where in addition to writing down my budget and goals, I included my poems, photos of what I wanted, and other visuals to keep me motivated. This was not done daily, But whenever I was excited or had great ideas, which was approximately every week. Like most young people at that age, I wanted to travel, buy a car, dress in the latest styles, and have a good time. I would write these goals down with a heading at the top. With a date, I would put the time, I would put the cost, and what I had to do to achieve them. This was a fun exercise for me, and every time I achieved a goal, I became extremely excited and motivated, and would tick off what was accomplished and rewrite the new ones. The goals I did not achieve within the time frame, I would not remove, but would reset the date and continue on. I moved from using scrapbooks, which I still have today, to the hardcover notebooks, and then eventually to journal writing in December 2001. Yes, I actually went back and checked the date of the old journals when I, act, when I started. I have found that the difference in writing my budget and goals in the previous format I used and journal writing is that I go deeper within now. I would include my inner thoughts. I would write, you know, my true feelings, the people who helped me at that time with the situation, or anything else that impacted me in a particular way. For me, journaling is an awesome and gratifying way of recording my life experiences. However, There are times when my journaling is not about achievements or future plans. It is a bit more sober and reflective, especially when I have received disappointing or sad news, um, you know, uh, maybe news about illness or, or death of a loved one. 
I would then write in a more analytical way, exploring the reasons why that um, situation may have occurred and trying to find the answers. So sometimes it is a bit uncomfortable, but in these situations, it helped me, it gives me clarity and it's helped in my healing process. I have found also that journaling has helped me build my self-confidence. I've become stronger and I get clarity on, you know, challenging issues. It has also honed my writing skills, reduced my stress, my stress level, and re-energizes me when I'm down. If you do not like to write, you can try other methods to express and note your feelings. You can use art, music, or any creative method that will allow you to keep records. So if you have not started journaling as yet, I encourage you to try it. It would definitely make a positive difference in your life. It would be like looking back on your own life, checking on your progress, learning from the experiences, and being re-energized to move on. When you're writing, it is a good idea to put a caption at the top for easy referencing. So, to help you get started, I have posted free downloadable journal sheets on Connect's Facebook page at facebook.com slash connectcoach, that's C-O-N-E-C-C-O-A-C-H. So please visit our page and like the page and download these sheets to get started. I look forward to hearing from you. This is Jennifer Gibbons-Joseph, Life Empowerment and Financial Coach of Connect Professional Life Coaching Services, thanking you for listening. Connect for a better future.